Cancer, you're up. I have a question for you, though. What is this about someone feeling so self-righteous? Does that mean anything to you? Are you being like that? I kind of feel like it's somebody being like that with you. Okay. What's that about? That's all I'm getting. Somebody feeling like they're above you. Like they are just on this high horse. I'm so smart. I'm so, I don't do any of those things. I, um, <laughs> it's like somebody who, they commit all these crimes or all these injustices and then they want to turn around to you and be like, who do you think you are? <laughs> Literally, look. And you see that this isn't even what's on my mind. When I said that, I saw that judgment card. This fell over on top of it. So this could be somebody that you were friends with, used to be friends with, could even be a lover. Okay. Somebody that you're in contract with. Somebody that, you know, contract can mean a few different things. You could, you know, work with somebody who, you know, you're vested in a company. Or you've, you know, put a lot of money and time, expenses into something, your heart and soul into something, and you're stuck with it. You know, you have to be with this company for so long in order to be vested. You can't move until you get to that point or whatever. Could be somebody that you are married to. Somebody that you bought a home with. It could be a physical contract. You know, something that's binding. If it isn't that, then it could be a soul contract. Okay. Somebody could be changing, changing their tune. And they're turning around looking at you as if you're scum of the earth. When they have no right. Who is this? Who is this? Who the f do they think they are? It's all, it's all I'm getting. Who the f do they think they are? Boom. Boom. Tower. I think you're about to show them who they are. They can atone for their sins. Okay. But they have no right to sit there and judge you. Did you get these people that do certain things? They do these certain deeds all their life. Or they do all these things and they... I'm not trying to talk bad about anyone. But it's like this. I don't know. I don't know how much of this story is true. I haven't really researched it because I really don't care. I, I can't say that I care. So I don't know how much of a rumor this is. And it's probably bad that I'm even, re, 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 you know. But, okay. I'm going to say like this. Somebody who could have been, you know into spirituality for many, 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 many years. They could have made a lot of money, fans, made a lot of products, sold them. Okay? Probably made a lot of money. And then stop and say, I'm a Christian now. And they change their tune, and then they want to condemn everyone that they've, all their past people. While still indulging in that money that they made off of all that spirituality. You see where I'm getting at? That's correct. You see what I'm saying? Who is this person?
Apple of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to confront it. You probably don't want to deal with this person. This could be somebody who has left you behind or maybe you've left them behind or that's basically what's going to be happening very, very soon. Okay. I feel like somebody... And that's I'm not saying that that's what the scenario is. But it's giving me... That's the only example that it's giving me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Literally. Somebody who has inherited nine of pentacles. I, I got all this wealth. And now I'm going to be walking away. I got what I needed out of it. I don't need you anymore. Meanwhile, there's somebody in this cup, you know, looking at like, where are you going? It's giving me that. <laughs> Seven of Cups. It's not saying exactly who this is. So this person, you know. You know what it is? is somebody's, somebody's just very confused. I'm getting somebody just feels very, very self-righteous. Okay. Somebody feels very self-righteous. I don't know that there's really much... Nine of Wands. There's no like real major arcanas here. Whoever this person is, I'm going to put it this way. Oh, there it is. So it's like whoever this person, this has been the theme lately. Is everyone dealing with the same person or is everyone just like, is the cheese falling off of everyone's cracker lately? Which could be, which very well could be. Um, I'm not trying to make light of it. I'm not trying to, you know, whatever. But it is what it is. Okay, some people are just losing it. Okay, there's too much pressure. There's too much stress. Not enough people are getting um, treatment that they need. Not enough people are, um, I don't want to say delusion, but you know, some people could be like feeding some kind of delusions or something like that. All right, now... This is somebody who could have, um, they could have been through a lot and, uh, you know, it, everything's so delicate nowadays. It's like somebody's going without getting treatment. Okay. Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords. Whoever this person is, it could be very defensive. But, you know, maybe they're at a certain point where they're unable to really, especially with the Seven of Cups there. It's not necessarily saying specifically who this person is, so it really could be anybody. Somebody that you're dealing with. But I feel like it's like, you know, sometimes people just don't know They may feel like they have good intentions, but there's something there that's a little, it's, it's not completely, um, it's, um, it, it, double, double. Could even remind you of like some kind of like I keep wanting to say psychosis, but I I, I kind of want to say this person may need, need an exorcism. Maybe they need a lot of holy water. You know, sometimes it could be like 
I don't want to go kind of go down that road or anything like that, but it's it's like, you know, something could be, you know, more or less possessing this person. Okay. I have to say, and I'm kind of like, I'm trying hard to not really, you know, so, you know, you know, you could be fit, you're, oh, say, so you're going to be faced with a situation that you may have to do something. We all get into these situations sometimes where we have to be perceived as the bad guy. Sometimes we have to do certain things that we don't want to do. And you could definitely be coming into a situation like that. This person could be like, who do you think you are? You've done the same thing or yada, yada, yada. Or, you know, somebody could be trying to throw something right back on you. But I feel like it's something, you know, you're going to, you're going to, you could be coming into a situation that, you know. Okay. Like it or not, you know, <sighs> do whatever it is that you feel that you need to do in order to kind of maybe push this person in the right direction, get them help. They might be angry with you. You might need to just kind of like completely leave this person behind. You just might have to. Okay. I'm not getting. Sometimes we just can't. And sometimes we just, we conflict. Sometimes we just have different, and maybe there's nothing wrong with them. Maybe there isn't. I'm just seeing it through cancer's eyes. Cancer might be like, man, what's wrong with this person? Maybe they feel completely fine and normal. And, and they're just like, you're the one that's crazy. You know, the world is a mirror. Who's to say what? If you really want to think about it. However, I kind of feel like whoever it is that you're dealing with is the one that's a little bit. But they could be perceiving it differently. All right. You may need to just kind of figure out a way around the situation and maybe distance yourself. You know, if you have to, you know, call somebody to get them help or refer them or something like that and leave it out of your hands. You may have to come to that situation. You know, you may have to come to the conclusion in that situation. All right. All right. I got to leave it there. Because this is very, very touchy. There it is. You don't want to, but you might have to. Today's the swords. Severing it, making it a clean cut. You might have to just kind of like let it go. Um, you have this two of pentacles here. It's definitely going to be, you know, it, it may not feel good, but, you know, it is what it is. At some point, we all have to do certain things in our lives. We just have to. It's part of life. I, I gotta leave it there. I gotta leave it there. All right. All right. That's it, Cancer. Good luck to you. Um. Whatever. Whatever. I kind of feel like that's what it is. Somebody's. It's like somebody has is is changing their. They're, they're restructuring like their whole belief system. They're doing something. They're changing something. And then they want to kind of turn to you and act like, you know, something. Meanwhile, you know, they may have actually inherited all these things. Um, again, it's it's like that. You know, then they want to kind of turn to everyone else and act like everyone else is, is evil. Or there's something wrong with everyone else. When it's probably really just them. They're having some kind of a, a break or some kind of a problem. Okay. That's what I'm getting.
I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm not saying anything else. I'm, I'm done. All right. Give me a thumbs up, please. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Good luck. You're gonna need it. And, um, whatever. Take care of yourself, Cancer. I'll see you soon. Have a good night.